Petty Officer 3rd Class Brandon Wyatt with Off The Grid News. Thank you for joining me today. Today you're joining me in Thompson, Illinois, and this is the Heirloom Cafe's back kitchen that we're actually, uh, we're actually filming from today. Today our topic is a super food, a food that could last on your shelf for absolutely up to 150 years. In Minnesota right now, they have a Civil War history museum up there that has a piece of what I'm going to show you to make today that is completely edible. It's called hardtack. Hardtack is a old sailor way of keeping carbohydrates and preserving them on long ships across uh, oceans and also for preservation purposes. Uh, many, many people all the way back to the ancient Egyptians have utilized this very simple recipe that I'm going to show you today. That's uh, a very simple an easy way to feed your family and to be able to stow away food for future use. We're going to get started. First thing I have right here is four to five cups of white all enriched flour, enriched with ni uh, niacin and it has, it's been fortified with all kinds of vitamins. I bought a better type of flour and that's going to represent the kind of nutritional value you get out of it in the end. So choose a good flour. You can also use a wheat flour, but today, Again, I just used a white enriched flour. This is the original recipe. Followed with two cups of water. You're gonna have two cups of water with three teaspoons of salt. I like to have a good quantity of salt because I know that if I'm down to this level working with this amount of food, that salt replenishment is an important part of your diet. So making sure you invest in a good flour is gonna be important in the end product. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to do is take that all enriched flour. You can choose to sift it in this particular case. I did not do that. You just add your salt in like that. And the best thing to do is to go ahead and combine all of those dry ingredients on the front end there. It makes it just a lot easier to work with and to incorporate those into the final product. The next super easy, that's that two cups of water that you're gonna incorporate back into there. Keeping everything mixed together, just slowly work in the flour, making sure that everything gets completely incorporated. And ultimately what we're looking for here is a essentially a ball that we can work with and then roll out and cut into three inch by three inch squares. So again, I've got it in what is a rough ball right now. And the, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to dry this out and incorporate all the ingredients as, uh, as, as much as you possibly can. Again, this is a white enriched flour. Niacin is such an important part with uh, that being a vitamin that's been fortified in your flour because it affects your muscles, uh, <laughs> specifically your heart. If you were in a situation where you could not get uh, you know, your daily allowances uh, through normal nutritional intake, this is going to be your lifeline. And so invest on a good flour on the front end, and uh, that will certainly pay you great dividends, even if you decide to use this. And again, like I said, uh, decide to use this as a, as a weekend treat. And uh, jokingly, some of my partners here said, because of the density of this, old Fido might have a lifeline too. Uh, this is certainly something that uh, you could probably turn into a, uh, a treat for the family pet as well. And, uh, and save yourself a lot of money as well as practicing a very, very, very useful skill. So, okay, we've got it into a ball. At this point, what you're gonna wanna do is you are gonna just wanna roll this baby out. You're looking for about a quarter inch thickness is ultimately what we were looking for. Now with this recipe, I specifically used four cups of flour. You can again use four to five cups of flour. Uh, and then the water is the one thing that I will tell you that depending on where you're viewing this from, you know, uh, again, if you're viewing this from a place like Denver, you're talking about, I know yeast is affected differently, but arid climates as well, it affects it differently. My suggestion to those people where humidity is not a factor would be less is more. Uh, you could always add a little bit more water, play with it because ultimately what you're wanting to do is completely dehydrate this. So this is a, uh, a piece of material essentially that you will have to uh, rehydrate. 
and it will be a, a better product and last longer. All right, so now what I've done, I've cut up all these little pieces here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So we've got roughly 12 portions. These portion sizes right here are about 77 calories. And so that gives you an idea based on a 2000 calorie diet per person per day. Again, this is about sustainability and this is not necessarily about comfort, but play with this recipe by adding some things. All right. So at this point, we've cut them in squares. So the next thing you want to do is you want to poke holes. This can be done a number of ways. Everybody has a fork at home, but a chopstick works really, really good. So something like that going all the way through the dough. If you can almost get the impression on the other side, again, it's gonna make it aerate quicker, dry out quicker, and ultimately, again, it's gonna make a better product if it's completely, completely dried out. So, okay, this is the before. What happens next is these go in the oven. It goes in the oven. There is some uh, discrepancies, but I would say 375 degrees for the first half hour, and then flip them, and then 350 degrees for the last half hour. So if you get that right, I know we're gonna put that up on the screen for you. That's 375 degrees for the first half hour, flip them. Then 350 on the other side, ultimately is gonna give you a finished product that sounds like this, looks like that, and can be packaged like we packaged this one right here. This makes a great way, and you can get these little foil wrappers like this and seal them. Um, Better, if you don't have oxygen on anything, it's gonna be the best way to do it. But again, just that is gonna be something that, boom, fits right in a cargo pocket, anywhere you wanna put it, and then it's, uh, it's really good to go. I cannot kid you, these are that tough, these are that hard. The suggestion to eating these is a rehydration process. I used uh, ginger and chia in these with the thought of boiling some tea, dipping in those, and then, uh, and then using that as a, uh, as a survival meal for myself. So again, this is Brandon Wyatt, Petty Officer Brandon Wyatt with Off The Grid News. Thank you for viewing. Please give us some information, give us feedback. We wanna be useful to you and thank you again for viewing.